looked amazing. This one looks awesome. Oh, with Christmas. That looks hilarious. <laughs> and look, hi. <laughs> Welcome back to Fine Tip Creative Studio where we love creativity and collectibles. In today's video, we're doing another toy haul. Fine Tip Creative Studio. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's Tell them what it. we got. NECA Frankenstein. I was waiting for this to come out. I'm really excited. Yeah. The details in the face sculpt are amazing. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Okay, what do you got over there? Oh, okay, so Christmas Pokemon advent calendar. Looks really cool. You can see that front graphic and on the back you got all the figures that are coming out of this. It's gonna be awesome. It has some of your most favorite Pokemon such as like P Pikachu and Pichu and Squirtle and Bulbasaur. This is for the 25th anniversary as you guys can see here which is really cool and they're releasing a bunch of cool stuff. So one of my favorite unboxings coming up is gonna be these guys which is the Gremlins Funko Pop set. There's actually two of the really old ones which we don't have. This is the newest one. Right. Which is the Gizmo and Gremlin with their 3D glasses from the movie theater scenes. And then here you have Greta as well as Flashing Gremlin, which these are from Gremlins 2, I believe. Oh, you're showing those right there. But these are from... These are, these are so cool looking. Greta, <laughs> Greta looks hilarious. <laughs> Flashing Gremlin, we picked this up when we went to the Funko Pop. Yeah, factory. if you guys are like a, a fan of ours and watch our videos from like a while ago, then yeah, we picked this up. Yeah, we got this at the Funko, what's it called? The Funko Headquarters. Yeah, Funko Headquarters. They have a bunch of cool Funko. These look great, so I'm excited to do these as well. These are coming up. Honestly, my favorite thing about Funko Headquarters is one, they're exclusive, and just a general overall themed areas. Like it's that awesome. castle. It's like a museum. It's like a like, art gallery. Yeah, that horror movie house was so cool. It had like actual multiple floors and the Luigi board and the mint window and then Elvira. So we'll put a link in the description to that uh, video, but we'll also tag it right here. Show a thumbnail. If you haven't been to the Funko Factory in Hollywood, California, it's awesome. It's like a museum. It's like a Funko Pop art museum. <laughs> So, we're also excited because we got a shipment from... Oh, sorry. Oh. It's on this side. We got a shipment from Entertainment Earth. If you've never visited this website, go check it out, entertainmentearth.com. They got all kinds of toys and collectibles. Really cool stuff. Let's show you guys our haul. So first off, we're gonna start off with the kind of Legos. We ordered the Mandalorian. Brickhead. Yeah, Brickhead. So this comes, this is got like a two pack. It comes with the Mandalorian as well as the child. And it also includes a little thing the child rides in, which actually folks. This looks really cool. That little child <laughs> looks really fun. I find it cute. Oh look, oh it's so I'm noticing cool this. Build. On the side, here it shows his ears down. And then here it shows his ears up. Oh, so, nice. so, so you maybe you guys can it. change it. And when we did check out of Entertainment Earth's website, they had a deal going on. Buy one Lego set, get another one half off. So we added this fun little Mickey, what's it called? The Mickey Mouse Propeller Plane. It looks like a cute little Lego set. I really thought this one was cool, especially because I'm a, like, a hardcore Disney fan. Well, and we, it reminded me a lot of the of first Mickey Mouse short, which was playing crazy. Right, one of the shorts. Right. We love Mickey Mouse, we love Disney. And it's a fun little set. We got it pretty cheap since they had to buy one, get one half off. So that's gonna be awesome. Something I love about Entertainment Earth especially is because they have so many cool things. Ranging from like, like NECA, and then... They got everything. Yeah. But they also got, here, let's put these out here real fast. So Entertainment Earth has a section that has imperfect packages, which you end up getting figures or toys where it looks like the maybe box fell off the back of the truck. The box is damaged, the pop is fine, and we were able to find some WandaVision Funko Pops that were really hard to find because the boxes are damaged. We got a really good deal on them, and um, we found some that we couldn't find anywhere else. Right, and honestly, we don't even care about the box that much. Having the box is good, but we always unbox everything, as you can see on our shelves. So we were able to find two of these in the uh, messed up boxes, which we got the Vision, and this is from one of the newer sets. Yeah, and this is from the older set. We one to seven the 70s, which is her pregnant holding a bowl of fruit, which looks really cool. And then we also have Vision Halloween, which is him in his Halloween costume. This one looks awesome. What I love about the Halloween costumes and just like that whole episode in general is because it kind of had their classic outfits from the comic book, which right. is really it's fun. Right, it's really cool. And she's got the, 
the Wanda Halloween. It's got her holding the bucket as well. Really cool. And then we scored. Dun -dun -dun, Visions 50s. Which is the Chase version. And if you look on the back, we ordered, you know, the regular Vision 50s, which right. has got the hat on in the black and white. And we were lucky enough to get the Chase, which is awesome. We got the rare one, which is gonna be so cool, especially if we get the Wanda. And like, honestly, we're really we're basically almost done with the series. We're just missing like two Funkos. So here is the Vision, which is from the later uh, series, which had Scarlet Witch and then Monica. Monica Rambo. Monica Rambo. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, <laughs> and then Agatha Harkness. Which, so the show was awesome. If you guys awesome. didn't watch the show. I thought it was great. I can't wait to see what they do with that whole ending. But this one is the white vision, which is like the one S.H.I.E.L.D. makes. Or this is, this is the one that they make to go attack the other vision. Right, yeah, yeah, really cool concept in the show they pulled off. Um, so these are coming up in the channel. You know we love Funko Pops. So if you haven't been to Entertainment Earth, check them out, they got a lot of cool collectibles. And if you're looking for something, you can't find it, you only find it on eBay like we were doing, check them out because you might find them with imperfect packaging. I think we got these for like eight bucks. So check them out. It's worth mentioning that this is our, this is actually our first chase ever and I'm really excited. Right, you're right with this. So we got another item that he hasn't seen, which was a gift. Wait, you've seen it? Yeah, I opened it. It's a, it's a oh. mystery for him. For me, I had to inspect it. This is actually a gift from your uncle, Uncle Teo. And this thing is massive. Well, it's, uh, it's it from... This way. Hi. <laughs> so you can see here. Jesus. Does it say it on the box there? Yeah, it says, uh, right here, you guys can't see it, but it says Disney. No, and hold on. It says it right here. Really? It's a Disney Treasures from the Vault. Ooh. So we don't really know what that is, but I'm already loving this this like the cardboard. Box, yeah, the box is cool looking. Yeah, they made it look like a shipping crate with like big. close to. And the only sneak preview we have is some text down here. Which I haven't, I don't even know what the heck is in here. All I know is Disney and possibly Mickey Mouse. It says Walt's engineer Mickey Mouse. So that's coming up in the channel as well. That's as much as you get to see today. So let me get it straight. You're just gonna leave me with Walt's Mickey Mouse engineer, and then I'm gonna wait. That's it. And Thank you, Theo Teo. We also got these really cool Mandalorian figures. These and we are have, awesome. We have two right here. So we have this really cool one, which is the Mandalorian and the child on Bantha. On the Bantha. Bantha. Oh. This thing is heavy. Really cool. You can see it's got a bobblehead in there. It's Mando riding the Bantha and you got little baby Yoda sitting off to the side. That looks awesome. And then you also have the Mandalorian on a blur. On a blurg. <laughs> Another awesome look at, it's not a pop ride, it looks like a pop ride. Right, that's what I would he's say. He's riding these animals, but they're just considered pops, I guess. The Mandalorian on blurg, he looks really cool. The details in these look really cool, and we got them for like, I think we got this one on sale for like 16 bucks from Walmart. And this one was like closer to 20, maybe 24. Really cool looking pops. I'm really excited about these as well. And then we got one other haul. Oh! Which is this awesome I'm box. I'm gonna stand on top of my chair. From Diamond Select Toys. We'll start small. These are from Diamond Select Toys. These are Mini Mates and these are Vinnie Mates. So you can see the size difference. These are probably about four or five inches. This, it was awesome. If you haven't seen this video, check it out. Speaking um, of it, you guys will see what else we got. Right, oh yeah, yeah, I'll hold this one here. And then these Transformers look really cool, little mini mates. Then we also got, we got the Pennywise Gallery Diorama from Diamond Select Toys. You can't see all the details, but this thing looks really cool. And honestly, from even the window, it looked amazing. The details in this look really amazing. good. Amazing. And I love the way how he's holding it. It's actually really close to the way he's holding this one. This goes for about 50 bucks, and right now it's on sale for like 40 or 35. Really cool. If you're a Pennywise fan, an <laughs> It fan, this thing is awesome. I can't wait to add this to our little It collection. We'll have a bunch of little It figures. How, my version is, how, we were just gonna give it like, like one fourth of our shelf over there. We're gonna get a whole horror shelf going because this guy looks sweet. So this one's fun. So I finished watching Avatar about a month ago, right? I watched Avatar and The Legend of Korra 
and I, I loved it. It was really cool. Right, so Diamond Select Toys just came out with these uh, gallery dioramas of the different avatars. We got the Zuko, which if you see in there, the fire effect looks really cool. And we also got... The Katara. Which we these have, are action figures. Yeah, these are action figures. Which so far we just have Katara. Maybe we'll try and get a couple of the other ones. As you can see on the back here, they've also got a few other characters in the series. She looks cool though. Yeah, so I like how they also have her water for her hand, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. So you guys can kind of use it for toy photography. She comes with a base and some poles to kind of pose her. Which is really helpful because when I bought figures before and they go come with a base, it's a hassle to get them standing up. This look really cool. Yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, <laughs> the Iron Giant, which we hadn't seen the movie. We recently saw it. And I thought it was great. I loved it. It was a really cool movie. You've never, if you've never amazing. seen The Iron Giant, check it out. The movie's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Here is the gallery diorama of The Iron Giant by Diamond Select Toys. It looks awesome. Uh, there's a lot of details in this. So that'll be a fun unboxing. I watched this and it was like it was like an emotional roller coaster. So it just went straight to my heart. It's like up and down and like, it's like, no, yay, ooh, ah. And look down there, all the details in the base. Yeah, I saw that on the back. He's like standing on a car. It's like the junkyard, right? It looks like somewhere in the junkyard. There's all kinds of cool details in the base. The sculpt looks really cool on this too. And especially, I like how they did the Iron Giant and how he's like just this big figure. And it's actually really uh, close to size comparing to the car. This looks awesome. And that's it for this toy haul. There you have a look at the upcoming toys and collectibles coming from Fine Tip Creative Studio. We love unboxing these figures and giving you guys a close up look. I'm most excited about, I think the Iron Giant Diamond Select statue and those uh, Gremlin Funko Pops. I'm excited about everything, but specifically that weird package that came in the mail one day. It's just been sitting in our living room the for the past like three weeks. Treasures from the vault. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. Let us know what you're most excited about in this toy haul and maybe we'll push you to have a schedule and do that unboxing first. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Fine Tip Creative Studio. It will look amazing. Oh, with Christmas. Greta looks hilarious. <laughs> and look, hi. <laughs>